What's up everybody and welcome back to another wonderful Minimator tutorial video. And today we are going to be going over the background tab and what that entails. So to start off, let's look at just the buttons we got here. We've got Show Sky, or we've got Show Custom Background. Now if you select Show Custom Background, you're going to want to find an image. And for me, I just found some random image online of lava. So you've got lava. Now there's a couple different options here. Now you can have it so as you can see I'm turning the camera and it's just staying where it is up and down. It stays where it is. does not move. Um, also there's the stretch to fit feature which is also nice so that you don't have a random white block right here. So let's stretch to fit. Um, now there's also show as skybox and what this is is it wraps it around so it makes kind of a you can still see a couple creases, but it wraps it around. Let me turn off the ground. So that it makes a dome around you, wrapping that picture around. So it's a little bit better of an effect uh, than just the random stasis effect, where if it's just um, if it's just stretched to fit, that, you know, the image never moves. That's what you get. I mean, if that's the effect you're going for, then great. But know that if you select Skybox, the picture looks like it rotates with you. It gives a little bit more movement to the scene. Now let's look at this little slider thing. You've got the sun and the moon. If I grab either one and drag, it uh, it rotates them around. Um, so you make it morning, dusk, midnight, you know, noon, wherever you want to drag this. So there's a nice way to change the lighting. And in future beta updates, David has informed me that there will be keyframing for the lighting. So you can kind of have it like, you can keyframe lights. You can start your animation where it's light and then have it get dark as it goes along. So that'll be a nice new feature. Um, and that is in betas to come. So moving on, you have the sky color. If you click this, it brings up this option here. If go ahead and click that. Of course, if we want to have the sky color, we're going to have to select Show Sky. And there you go. And you can see it kind of does a lighter to a darker rendering of the color. And then at nighttime, the stars come in. So it does. it is a nice fading effect as it does come light. You can see the stars fade out and the sun comes in and vice versa as it gets dark. Um, I already showed the show ground, that's on and off. Let's turn the lights back up. Um, and then there is the use custom lighting. Now what this is, is it's like the, the Minimator beta, um, it's like the Minimator beta 0 0.3. And this is moving lights around as you want them. Now these are also on the Z axis, so let's let's find a light right here. Let's see, is it this one new? Okay, it's this one down here. So you can see I, it moves in real time. Um, if I go on the Z one, it's still selected. I can go up, down, the X, Y, side to side, and so on. So you move your lights like that. You can add lights. They'll always spawn in the middle. You need to drag them down to where you want them, over here. Um, you can remove lights. And if you get them all squig squiggly umped, where they're just all messed up, go ahead and hit reset lights. Now, this is nice, it does give you a warning, click yes, and it resets them in their formation. Now, there is a second option to add lights, and we'll go over that in just a minute. Um, first, let's finish the background tab. So, we have the show ground, and then we've got the terrain. This is a very nice feature, so let's say I want to have my terrain bricks. Click on the little brick and there you go, you've got bricks. Uh, how about railroad tracks? Well, alright, railroad tracks or the sponge or top of an enchantment table, um, whatever your hearts desire. Now the cool thing about this is it's like the textures, you can browse, um, let's see if I can remember where I had mine. Textures, we'll do a 64, pick the terrain, and now, if I do grass, there you go. So it's a great way to add a different 
feel or I guess ground to your minor meter tutorials. Sorry, I get sidetracked just clicking on these. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice one. Nice grassy leaves. Um, anyway, uh, let's just go back to the default terrain. Now, in in my animation shorts playlist, you've probably seen the torch one where it shows uh, shows a character in a cave, lights up his torch, and then the creepers appear behind him. And people have asked me how you achieve total darkness, because you can see here, if I make it dark, it's still somewhat lit because of your lights here. Um, and also, when you I forgot to mention, when you're clicking on these lights, you can go ahead and dim their power, or their strength rather, and you can even change their colors. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's just dim them all down. Okay. Now it's it's just still not feeling dark enough. Oh, it looks like I missed one. Did I? Nope. That one is looking... Oh, yeah, I did miss one. Okay. So there you go, you've got your total darkness. So you can either turn down the strings or you can just go ahead and remove them. You'll achieve the same effect either way. Um, and when you do want your light backs, when you do want your lights back, go ahead and just hit reset lights and it will bring them back. However, I do not want to reset my lights just yet. Let's show one more cool thing you can do with lights. So in the library tab, you can add a character. Let's see, he's over here. A little dark. Uh, let's name him Sir Bernard. Click OK. And now let's click Add again. And this time we can come down to Light. And you can see it spawns a light in here. Um, these lights work on the keyframe system. Actually, I should have just like any other, um, it now has its own little spot down here on the timeline. So if I go ahead and give them some keyframes so I can edit them, I'm going to add one more item, and that will be a torch. Let's see, I want block, and torch is numero 50. Now a cool thing here as well, um, with torches, is this data slider, you can see, um, you can actually get the torches that appear on the side of buildings. Now it's all blacked out, but uh, you can see up here in this graphic, it's the torch that sits on the side of a building. So you can get the slanted torch, or you can just get the normal hand torch. So let's get that one. And let's rename it Torch. Click OK. Now let's close the library tab. Let's open up the Instance tab, and let's go ahead and start our parenting. So first of all, we want to parent our torch to Mr. Bernard. So we're going to select the torch, we're going to go lock to parent, we're going to pick Sir Bernard, and we're going to go to the left arm. Now you can see here, if, you know, <laughs> so we can actually see what's going on. Let's go ahead and move this light. Let's move it up. And let's turn up the strength. Okay. So, well, there's his back. Let's do this one more time. All right, now let's show the front of him. All right, we're good to go. So you can see the torch is above his arm. Let's go ahead and give it a keyframe. And it is parented, so let's uh, move it around. So let's open up the position, the rotation, Let's uh, let's see which axis is it. That one there. So we're going to want this to 90, and we're just going to want to drag it. So you can see part of the torch is already cutting into his hand. So let's just bring it back up to where it's in his hand partly, and voila, it is parented into his hand. Now, if I was to grab Bernard's arm, let's see this one position. So we want rotation. So if I go like this, you can see the torch stays with it. Now we're not done. Now we need to parent the light to the torch. So let's go ahead and click lock to parent. Let's pick torch. And there you go. Now it does spawn a little bit out there, which isn't a problem because we know how to use those things. 
let's grab this. Let's actually, to make it as easy as can be, let's put Bernard's arm up at a full 90 degree angle, okay? Now the light, you can see here, this is a little tricky to move because it's such a small object and we are in three dimensional space, so this may take a little fine tuning. Um, let's bring it back. And if you want, if you pay attention to your graph, over here you can see it's totally centered, which means it looks like I'm totally centered above the torch. So that means I just need to bring it on down. Okay, so that light is resting on the top of the torch. So now let's zoom out here, and there is our light. So the light graphics are a little different than in previous versions I've noticed. Let's go ahead and give some movement to Bernard. Let's add a keyframe here, and let's move him over to here. Okay. Now let's get back here. All right, now watch the light's movement. So it kind of comes in diamonds. Now to to have a cool if you man, I just can't talk. If you're going to notice if if you're going to if you notice there's a lot of kind of black spaces around him. Now to kind of get rid of those, you're just going to want to add more lights. And what we can do here is just go to the instance, and let's just go to duplicate that light. Oh, it spawned it way over there. Oh, that's because we need to parent it, of course. It doesn't duplicate parenting. So if we go here, and we go to lock to parent, grab the old torch, and there we go. It actually spawned it directly where the other one is, which is on top. And we actually want to move that. So we're just going to grab a slider, and I'm actually going to move this one over there. Let's see, I need one, two, three more. Let's make three more instances of, so duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Let's lock the parent, torch, lock the parent, torch, lock the parent, torch. So now we've got all these things. Let's go ahead and hide Bernard and the torch on the timeline so that we can see what we're doing. Now this one is there. Number five, we're gonna move out here. Number four, we're gonna move out here. Three, we're gonna move back here. And I believe two, it's already over to the left. So as you can notice, this is lighting up quite a bit. So we're actually gonna want to Select all our keyframes here, open up the light, and let's go ahead and turn those down. And let's put them, let's see, all at zero. I actually missed a couple. I missed the top two. Oops, delete. And manually select that one. Okay. So if we turn them all down, we're completely black. It, it's going to look up a lot better if we kind of change their power. So we're going to put that one at 16. Oops. Deselect all. Okay. That one's at 15. Let's move that one to 24. That one to 11. This one to 9. And that one 17. And let's go ahead and give these some colors to get a cool effect going on. We'll make that one orange. We'll make this one yellow. We'll make this one red. We'll make this one... We'll just leave those other two white. So now you can see we've got sort of a colored light going on here. And it's still kind of showing in that diamond form. Um, but if you really want to kind of change the lighting scenario, you just need to move your lights around. So if we go ahead and do this, let's see, that's the one in the back. So let's move it back, move it over. Uh, which one, what color is that? There we go. 
So it's just a matter of where you want to place your lights and the power you give it. So um, let's go ahead and show Bernard back on the timeline. And something you'll also want to pay attention to is the rotation of his arm. If I go ahead and bring up the rotation thing of his arm, and I rotate it, you can kind of see how the lights will change depending on which way they're facing because let's have this light selected. Um, well, actually I can't do that because now if I select Bernard you're not going to see that light anymore. But anyway, the lights are swiveling with his arm, so just be aware of that. Um, there's a good example. Just where the lights are going. So that is, I guess, the light tutorial, the background tutorial. Um, that kind of covers all of the different tabs here. Now I'm still going to be making tutorials, but I'll probably start an animation tutorial and just go over, I guess, the general steps of making an animation. I haven't made an animation in quite a while, and I haven't made one with the new beta version, so I, I really want to do one. Um, so I guess that'll be the start of the next tutorial videos, is an animation. So as always, thanks for watching. This is Ski Dude. Spread the word about Minimator, my channel. Rate, subscribe, thumbs up, and any questions or comments below, and I will answer them as soon as possible. And as always, the uh, download will be in the link below. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you later. Peace.